Beartooth Pass is along US Highway 212 between Red Lodge and Cook City, Montana. The highway switchbacks up and over part of the Beartooth Plateau, crossing about 3 billion years of geology in that short distance. Archaean Age rocks were uplifted approximately 15,000 feet during the Laramide orogeny. The geology of Beartooth Pass is fascinating. Uh, again, some of the oldest rocks exposed on the surface of the earth are found there. Uh, I've read that some of the metamorphic remnants that are mixed in with the relatively newer igneous rocks are as much as 3.9 billion years old. Some of these volcanic dikes of this material, which is a porphyry, these are supposedly about 1.8 billion years old. And if you go through the bear tooth, you'll see these dikes everywhere, dikes and sills of all different kinds of porphyries. In my Yellowstone River Common Yet Unique series, the episode on porphyries, we touched on a wide array of porphyritic rocks, most of which come from these relatively younger dike and sill intrusions into the much older rocks we are seeing in today's video. But there are granites, granodiorites. There's this material that fractures almost like slate. In fact, the frost is kind of destroying it here. Now the rocks that they're saying, uh, from what I was able to research, that are really old, could be the stuff like this. They say that within the diorites and granites, there are lenses or remnants of even older rocks that are extremely metamorphosed, archaean in age. So they're, archaean basically is like from the very beginning. I mean, these are the first rocks that were floating on the surface of an otherwise molten world, you know, but in the case of this one, obviously it's been metamorphosed since then and changed into a nice. Yeah, this is spectacularly green. The overall rock is green, but I think this here was like a fracture and even more epidote got in there. So that's vibrant. Turn it over this way. That's what the actual rock consists of. A mafic gneiss of some kind is what I would call it. Amphibolite. Amphibolite gneiss? You geologists, is that a correct term? Very hard solid gneiss in this case. And that concludes today's three minute look at over three billion years of geologic history.